what's up you guys my name is Vivian from the paper letter vlog today we're sending out a uh, subscriber mail together now first let me quickly clarify what subscriber mail means because I do, do get questions about it sometimes although that usually is on Instagram and not on YouTube I have a PR box as some of you may know where I receive mail mainly from subscribers from my YouTube channel um, and I pick a few people every month to reply to and now I don't really pick myself I use a random number generator on Google so that it stays kind of fair and then I will reply to you know hopefully as many people as possible but usually it's around three four five people a month although the last couple of weeks I have been on a roll I've sent out so many replies to so many of you guys and it's really really fun to see them arrive so so today we're going to uh, wrap up this tag and turn this into a happy meal so long story short, I always pick out a few people um, at the same time to reply to and one of those people was Beckett. So I wrote her a letter, letter, what was that? A letter which is in here in this beautiful envelope and it says, thanks for being you. Um, this is an envelope, like a writing set, which is really, really pretty. It has these beautiful mint green envelopes and then beautiful letter writing paper. <laughs> and then I was feeling creative. So I created some sort of um, a ring flip like there's different things on this ring which I will show you in a second as well so I created this and then I was kind of lost as to how to send this because I could put this in an envelope but I'm kind of afraid of the envelope tearing because it's kind of like an odd shape and then my eye was caught how do you say that my eye was caught by the paper gang box you know i do the paper gang unboxings every month if i get the paper gang at least and i always kind of save these little boxes because they're flat enough for um for mailbox mail but they're like sturdy enough to protect my mail and now i do have to admit that i although i save those boxes all the time i don't actually send out a lot of mail with them because Ooh, a little bit of honesty here. It's simply quite expensive. Um, this I could send this with regular stamps, but usually it will go. Uh, it will be eight or sixteen euros, and if I send out all of my mail um, with sixteen euros worth of stamps, I'm going to have to sell my house very soon. <laughs> um, so yeah, a little bit of honesty there. I usually send out my mail in regular envelopes. But today I thought, you know what, it is treat myself week, I will explain that in a second, and I'm going to treat someone else as well. <laughs> um, a little bit of a side note, this is a French press, which you would usually use for coffee, but I actually put some Earl Grey tea in there. I saw my hairdresser do that, she had like a, a tiny version of a French press with loose leaf tea in there, and I thought that was so smart. Hmm. So I made myself a French press filled with real grey tea, which should be enough to last me this whole Happy Meal session. And what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you, first of all, the meal I created for her, the little Happy Meal. And then we're going to um, decorate this box, fill it up with goodies and wrap up some presents. Because my desk is already kind of messy because I just sat down to do this video and then I felt inspired to make a bunch of wax seals. <laughs> So I will, um, I'm also, I also made a video about that, so I will just quickly lay them out so you can get a little sneak peek. But I made these wax seals for a separate video, which I will also upload on my channel at some point. So I'm going to wrap these up. Zero, zero ideas yet, but we are going to have fun. Today's my last day off this week, so whew, I'm going to make good use of it. Mm. And I hope you will enjoy. <laughs> so let me start with this little tag of flip. Like I said, I was having a creative moment. I have to admit it is already a couple days ago because I've been quite stressed. Oof. But um, yeah, long story short, I created two different versions of a ring flip. Should I call it a ring flip? What do people call these things? It's like a tag flip, but not really tags. I don't know. I created two different versions and then I made this one for Beckett 
So first of all, we have this tiny, adorable tassel, which I got from AliExpress on this ring. First of all, this huge ring, I got it from AliExpress. Um, it's a blue ring. I do have to admit, I only used it to make this meal and the paint is already like coming off a little bit. I bought them on AliExpress, you get you can pick from a ton of different colors and I picked blue and green and pink and white. thought they were really cute. And normally I would not send this in an envelope because I think an envelope would get damaged from this. So it's good that I'm using a box. Then we have this adorable little tassel also from AliExpress. We have this, I don't know, I made like a little hanger with, um, I don't know, all of these cute adorable little beads that I have. I just thought, I don't know, I, I thought without these things, the, the tag flip looks cute, but I really think this adds a fun little element, just made her like some sort of a bracelet, I guess. And um, it's on little rings, so she can reuse that if she likes, or she can hang it up, or she can, you know, toss it in a drawer somewhere. And then um, I actually had a little bit of a die cutting night when I made this, so we have this little like flower tag and that says hi and we have this it, this is a shaker like a mason jar shaker i think it's so cute I it turned out really really cute although usually i put too many sequins in the mix in the in the in the shaker and now i may have put too less too little in there but still it looks quite cute so we've got a little mason jar shaker and in here are some sequins but also very eco-friendly i used the paper scraps for example let me show you mm, where is it this i also have this die which is a heart with all of these flowers and then you punch out all of these little shapes and then what are you going to do with them? You're going to throw them away, usually. So instead of throwing them away, I reuse them as sequins. So instead of putting plastic in, I put like paper scraps. So I thought that was really, really cute. And then I also made this little bar with a split pin. Split pin? Split pin? Because my original thought was to put this mail on a split pin because they have those wow because they have this really cute heart design but then it got way too bulky i decided to use a ring instead it's a cute little shaker and it says a jar of luck i thought that was really cute and again she like becky if you're watching this feel free to reuse anything uh in any way you see fit i mean if you want to use this for some happy meal feel free then we have this which is basically a little um uh, twine sample tag so this is a tag it looks a little bit like a dog bone but it's a tag and it has these cute colors of twine and then this trim which has like i don't know a fringe trim i think it's really really cute i haven't actually used it yet i'm only giving it away because it's so adorable really festive and summery then the next one is a decorated tag i usually find it very difficult to do decoration only and not goodies but this has only decoration so we have a little um envelope teeny tiny envelope and some paper punches and then of course a ton of nouveau drops around the page as well i will link everything i've used down below although i have to admit that the paper i've used is from an action uh, paper pad so i'm afraid you cannot get that any um in any store except for action so we've got that one and then the next one is a project life card which i turned into a washi sample how adorable is this um and how well does it match this color how adorable is this little daisy washi type so i gave her some of my favorite washi types uh, on a project life card and then a teeny tiny peg which says love on it i also bought these especially for happy mail but usually if you put a peg in a project it's or in an envelope it's just going to tear the envelope so this is a perfect opportunity to use it and then we have that heart i don't know punched out shape thingy i think it's really really cute i decided to leave it like that um you know just as a little bit of decoration and then we have this um i don't know what you would call this it's like a Wait, I have it here. Maybe I can tell you the name. Diamond wrap. Diamond wrap. I don't know. This is like little diamond ribbon. And I got this from Becca in her 
beautiful box of Happy Mew last year and I thought it looked kind of cute as like a divider in here. And now, oops, okay, there we go. And then this is the last tag on here. It is, uh, again, I want to show you because this is so cute. Like, it's like um, a, wait, maybe I have an example. Ah, I have an example. I punched out an extra one. So this is a smaller version, but it's the same paper because I think it's absolutely adorable and it's the same idea. So you have like a little flower, I see it properly. Basically it's a flower cutout, but it also has a little bit of a stitched inside. I don't know, I will show you up close so you can see. Can you see that? So instead of only punching out the scalloped edge, it also punches out this kind of stitched circle i think that looks really really cool i don't know why but it makes me really happy and then as some extra goodies i just put some doilies on there and some tags from the flow magazine and this huge paper clip which again it makes me so happy how well these colors match like this is a perfect match and then the these greens are a perfect match that just makes me happy and then last but not least is um, my, okay, I'm making a mess. Oops. It's kind of difficult to show a tag flip. Maybe I have to take them off next time. And last but not least is of course the envelope. I wanted to write a letter on here, but then again, the envelope is so cute. I think if she takes off the sticker carefully, she'll be able to reuse it. Other than I did not realize, of course I punched a hole in it. Sorry, back it. Maybe you can cover that up with washi tape, but I, I think this is such a cute color. I didn't want to ruin it by writing uh, something across it. So this is my tag flip. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I had so much fun, especially because usually I will work on a project and everything has to be the same or the same size or the same colors. And now I just decided to punch out a bunch of different shapes. Everything is a different shape. Everything is different and it looks so fun and colorful and I really love it. So. Except that the envelope is maybe a little bit big, but still, to me, it kind of looks really fun. <laughs> so that's my happy meal. Um, I'm going to put it in this box. We're going to drink a whole bunch of real gray tea and we're going to have fun. I will do this with a voiceover. And don't forget to use hashtag the paper letter blog on Instagram if you are crafting along. Okay, so first, before I start my voiceover, I want to correct a wrong because I looked it up on the website and I made a mistake about the stamps. And if you're Dutch, listen carefully because I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who does not know this. Like I said, um, like when you ship more more heavy like heavier mail, it can be either eight euros or nearly sixteen for a letter, so that's up to two kilos, which is a heavy letter, but you never know. So between eight and 16 euros, but I looked it up on the uh, Postenel website and I found that when I send something to the United Kingdom, it's not 16, but nearly 10 euros. So that's six euros in difference. And I wish I'd known that sooner. So for the same weight it's six euros cheaper and i think it's also the same in europe let me quickly check i'm currently on the website let's see belgium yep it's the same in europe so uh, and if i go outside of europe it's 16 euros if i stay in europe apparently it's only 10. so i wish i'd known that sooner because um, that's quite a big difference and i'm pretty sure that i've sent out mail with too many stamps which is kind of sad but okay i wanted to write that wrong it wasn't to the UK it wasn't between 8 or 16, it was between 8 and 10, which is kind of better, right? <laughs> so in the background I have decorated the, uh, the inside of the box, it's a paper gang box, they always have a little print on the inside, so I decided to cover that up with paper. Um, the top paper I put on there with tape and the bottom one I did not put on there at all, like it's in there loose so she can reuse that if she likes. She can also reuse the top one, it should be uh, easily removable. And then I added some washi tape just for a fun effect. And as you can see, I die cut some uh, paper flags, like banners or I don't know, garlands, and I hung them up there. Uh, and I think it looks really cute. And I think I wrote on there, like, hello Beckett, or didn't I? I actually do not remember. 
Uh, it, it hasn't been that long since I did this video, but my memory is kind of terrible. Now I've decorated the inside of the box and the next thing I'm going to do is kind of wrap up the goodies. And as you can see, I have a lifetime supply of tissue paper, <laughs> that colorful crinkly paper, um, because I, first of all, you always receive tissue paper in the paper gang box. And then also a lot of web shops wrap up their stuff in tissue paper, such as this tissue paper, which is white with, no, blue with white dots. That was from a postcard order I did a long time ago. I just hoard everything. Um, so yeah, I have a lot. And then also people send me tissue paper because I always like it so much. So I just picked one that matched the best. And then these are all black and white cards from a Flow magazine. No, a Flow book for paper lovers. I thought they were cute. Yeah, I know not everyone has access to Flow book for, books for paper lovers, but I do because it's a Dutch brand and I'm a member. Um, so yeah, I just decided to uh, share that. <laughs> oh, what I'm doing, that little card is from a tea swap I did with my Dutch swapper group. Oh, what am I doing? I'm showing you news. So what was I saying? Yes, tea swap. Basically, she wrote her message on that little card, but it was so cute. I wanted to reuse it because I'm all about reusing and recycling and upcycling. That's news just staring out the window, you know, spying on the neighbors and stuff. Um, so I just covered up the back, like I covered up her message with a little piece of cardstock because it was really cute. <laughs> I've said that already. Oh, you guys, I have so much I need to tell you about. Um, first of all, talking about cats, I already hinted at it in my Paper Gang unboxing video, which I did last Wednesday, but we got a second cat. Oh my God, we have a kitten now. Her name is Sage. You know, after the herb or the color, uh, her name is Sage. She's really adorable. She is so energetic. It's crazy. Like we, I kind of forgot what it was like to have a kitten also because Noos was so calm when we got her. Like she already behaved like an adult. She wanted to play, but only occasionally. And she never really had those running around going crazy moments. And Sage is like half of the time she's sleeping no 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 i'm lying like a, th a fourth of the time or a third of the time she's sleeping and then two thirds of the time she's running around going insane trying to climb the curtains trying to climb my leg trying to snuggle underneath my chin but then deciding that she actually doesn't want to snuggle she wants to play so then she starts attacking my hair she starts trying to eat my hair she is so fun i mean sometimes she drives me mad she drives both of us mad also because um <laughs> there's news again also because of those moments like everything is new to her still so when i watch something on my ipad she tries to touch the ipad like oh my god something is inside the box she doesn't understand what an ipad is or that she shouldn't attack it and it's the same with for example eyelashes so when you blink, your eyelashes move and she thinks that's very cool. So she wants to try and catch the eyelashes. <laughs> so it can be kind of dangerous because, you know, little claws close to your eye. But other than that, she's a real, real joy. Um, we're keeping her and Noose separate for now because that's how I learned to uh, kind of uh, introduce cats. So we're working with smells and, you know, sometimes like Sage is in the guest room in the attic. Let me close the, um, the garden door uh, in the attic. Um, and so the whole room smells of her. And then sometimes I move some of the furniture or some of the toys, I move them to a different room so Noose can sniff the toys or the towel or whatever. And then yesterday we took Sage out of the guest room and put Noose in the guest room so she could sniff everything Sage touched, such as even her litter box and stuff like that. So. It's slowly dawning on Noose that there's an intruder in the house, but she doesn't fully realize it, I think, because she has never seen Sage. She has only smelled her. And even when she can smell her on us, like on our hands, she doesn't really respond, but that's probably also because I work in a cat cafe, so I smell of other cats all the time. Noose doesn't really respond to that anymore. But tonight we're going to do the sniffing, like taking Sage out of the one room, putting Noose in the room again, and then 
tomorrow we want to have them meet face to face but probably one of them at the top of the stairs the other one at the bottom of the stairs so that there's a safe distance because contrary to popular belief um <clears throat> letting cats fight it out like letting cats fight until they're friends does not work cats like first impressions are very important for cats so we're really taking it slow making sure news is okay i'm watching all of the signs and she doesn't seem distressed yet she's also not angry at us so that's great she doesn't see us as betrayer <laughs> betrayal yet Whew. Um, that's only one of the million things i want to tell you guys in the background, I'm, I know I'm going to get questions about this, but that, that circular thing with all the different compartments that you saw, <clears throat> that's an organizer. And I found that at a thrift store for one euro and 50 cents, best deal ever. So that's like a little, I don't know what you would normally use it for, like a makeup, comp makeup organizer or something like that. Uh, and it was filled with little beads uh, from the previous owner. I got all of that for one euro and fifty cents and I used that to uh, organize my paper die cuts and then I also picked out a ton of paper die cuts for Beckett because I think that's fun and then um, so I made like a little gift bag with goodies and then I showed you my favorite coffee mix which is uh, caramel cappuccino which is like the best thing ever and I wrote her a little note because on the cappuccino like the sachet do you call it a sachet like on the coffee bag is a Dutch saying so I translated the saying and I left her a little note saying hey this is the box but my letter is in here somewhere and what I did when I closed up the box is I also put my return address sticker on the box itself so that god forbid something happened to the box like something happened to the wrapping, um, there was still an address on there. So that, you know, because what happens if the paper gets, uh, the paper gets stuck in the mail service machine, there's like a box with no name on it, no return address. So then it's going to get tossed. <laughs> so I thought that was pretty clever. Now, when I wrap up a present, I wouldn't normally use this much type, but I did not want it to get ruined. And I saw on Becca's Instagram that it made it in one piece. <laughs> Yay. Um, I, there was something else I had to tell you. So many things I had to tell you. Not only like life related, but also my channel related because I'm still waiting. You know I love doing these mystery boxes and I know that a lot of people like watching them. I'm currently still waiting, it has been nearly a month now since dispatch, for another stationary mystery box, which should be really, really fun. So that's coming to my channel. And then I also still have to edit and upload a video because I've been using a new planner and I have been using that new planner, but before I started using it, I did an unboxing video still have to upload that because I know a lot of people are wondering why I don't do bullet journaling videos anymore and that's all explained in that video so normally I would use international stamps but now I had an amount like a, a payment due like stamp payment due that matched a certain amount I think it matches 10 national stamps so like this box cost me I think eight euros and something cents and uh, one Dutch stamp is 85 cents I think so if you put 10 then you have like eight euros and 50 cents and then it's nearly the same amount as um, international uh, stamps um, but what I did is I used my water brush to activate the glue and I also put a little bit of double-sided tape underneath the stamps because they're kind of old and I didn't want to, them to let loose in transit. Now I'm going to put a stamp and it fails miserably. It looks like a horror. It says warning contains pretty things and that's the Happy Meal stamp set that I got on Craft Stash. I don't remember what it's called but I will link it down below. It looks really cute. Uh, it's supposed to say warning contains pretty things but now it looks like something out of a horror movie <laughs> kind of scary and then in the top left i have my return address sticker and on the bottom right i have my the paper letter blog little shimmery sticker and then i still thought oh yeah by the way i completely forgot to say that but the reddish paper the red brownish paper is from vlinders in your bag, which is that gift wrapping web shop i did a collab with not really a collab, she sent me stuff and I made a video. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, and I, I, th I still thought I wanted to add something more, so I'm adding these washi type stickers, like the bl black, black and white. Wow, that sounded weird. Black and white washi tape stickers. I think they look really cool. And then I'm changing it up. I want to do a different one, and I accidentally tear it. That's the downside of using washi tape stickers. Oh no, my video is already over and I still haven't told you. But the things I still have to tell you is that this weekend we went to a festival, which was incredible. I will try and see if I can include a little story in the next video. That was my main story. And the second story is that I am having a week off and I'm actually looking for a new job. But I will, I'm still working at the cat cafe. I'm just looking for something new for the future but i will tell you about that in an upcoming video probably oh my goodness I, I tell myself every time that i'm going to talk less and have more silent moments but mm, if i have so much to tell you i don't know how i'm gonna do that okay that was this friday's video uh don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more uh hit the notification bell if you want to make sure you do not miss those videos i mentioned and I guess I'll see you again on Monday. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.